Hello. Blender is terrible when it comes to making landscapes. It hurts to slander my favorite program, but solutions like World Machine that are specifically built to mimic natural erosion just outperform our little guy here. I've spent a lot of time recently building different landscapes, and now I wanted to bring them back into Blender where I feel more comfortable. And to make it more fun, I essentially split up all the World Machine data into as many parts as possible to give back a lot of control even after exporting. So. I humbly request the following. Scroll down into the description, find the link, you can download this project for free and just give me your ideas essentially. I might turn this into a more ambitious setup if you like. Maybe once it's done I put it on Blender Marketplace or for my patrons or something. And now since you've already scrolled down it's a lot less work to now actually also click the subscribe button just saying. This thing is still a work in progress but I thought I'll ask for your ideas before I invest any more time. So let me know whatever comes to your mind, specific features, color schemes, terrain types you'd like to see. I'll try to make it possible. So let's have a look. For now, most stuff I've done is part of the shader. The red note group contains the most significant slider, the deposition, that kind of dials in the rockiness of your terrain. Detail is meant to break up the deposition mask a bit, especially at higher settings. Some transitions are a little bit uniform, so you can bring back a bit of roughness here. I don't know if detail is the best name, but I didn't come up with anything better. On the right, there is a green node group that contains a sediment slider that adds those little rivers of sludge that are washed down the mountain. They look good with a dirt color, but I have found that they can also be a realistic place for some fresh green grass. After all, it's moister at those locations. Also normal and bump mapping. These color ramps are the whole reason I broke all of World Machine's features apart, so I can change the terrain type on the fly and maintain realism. But first let's look at a little last feature, this UV distortion. All maps are 8K, but at some point there's no more resolution left, but if I zoom in, you'll find that I have distorted the UVs to feather them out a little bit and hide those pixels. You can really see the difference once I turn it to zero. I wouldn't increase this value too much, but if you do, you get this kind of paint effect, which is cool too. Now to my favorite part. I have Node Wrangler enabled, so I can just alt drag this color ramp away. And instead I can put one of these presets I prepared there. And look how it completely transforms into another biome really. And all the previous settings still work. Obviously you can customize your own color ramps. It's a lot of fun to play around with it. Let's change the landscape. I've included a couple maps for different terrains in the same download link. If this is something you guys like, I'll make more in the future. Changing the landscape is just swapping some pictures. Those four here in the material are named accordingly or just look at what's already in there. I'll replace base map MSC with terraces MSC, WRD with terraces WRD, base map height with terraces height and base map normal with terraces normal. We all know that normal maps need to be set to non-color, but, and this is vital, the height needs to be set to linear or the displacement will look wrong. The geometry is generated using geometry nodes and you can set the color space there, but it strangely copies the color space from the shader editor, so we need a copy of it here. Bit weird, but okay. Now I can swap the height map here in the modifier window and we're good. Right now there are just a few basic settings. The two main ideas I want to experiment around with are seamless landscapes for things like infinite flyovers or you know just zooming and sliding the landscape wherever you want and a way to mix two terrains together so it's a little bit more customizable. If the program won't crash with that many 8k maps I'll have to see. By the way if you add something to the scene and don't see it right away maybe it's too small. We are looking at a one kilometer landscape right now. I never liked levels of subdivision, they are unintuitive and since they are exponential you change a value from 5 to 6 and suddenly you got 7 trillion quads. So I made this input where you can just type in your desired number of quads. Those terraces have a lot of vertical walls that generally needs a little bit more polygons to proper display. So I'll go up to a million. But generally you don't really need all that many polygons because of the normal maps that I've exported too. Oh yeah, and if you apply the Geometry Nodes modifier, go to Attributes, select Geo UVs and convert it to a UV map if you ever want to export something. You'd have to bake the texture though, uh, at least if you want to use it outside of Blender. If you want to know how this comes along, feel free to check back in later. Well, download it, play around and have fun and give me any idea that comes to your mind to improve it. Greatly appreciate it. In return, you can use this project here and if you create something with it, just let me know, I'd be happy to see it. Have a great day.